The keto or ketogenic diet is a very low carbohydrate, high fat diet that has been around for a while, but in recent years has gained a huge following. If you have PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome, you may have found some information that recommends that you follow the keto diet to improve your PCOS symptoms and possibly improve your chances of falling pregnant. But if you're wondering, is the keto diet for PCOS fab or fad, stay tuned and we'll discuss the scientific evidence. Hello, if this is your first time connecting, welcome. My name is Melanie McGrice and I'm a dietitian who specializes in fertility and reproductive health. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up to date with my latest evidence-based nutrition and fertility videos. If you have PCOS, the earlier that you get on top of it, the easier it will be to get pregnant when the time comes. So today we're going to discuss whether the keto diet for PCOS is advisable or just another fad. Firstly, a keto diet is a very low carbohydrate diet whereby no more than 5-10% to of your daily energy comes from carbohydrates. Practically, this usually adds up to no more than about 50 grams of total carbs per day. In general, this diet is also high in fat and protein. Now we know that as little as 5% weight loss in women who are overweight can improve PCOS symptoms. There are many ways to lose weight and in general, an individualized healthy lifestyle plan is the first line strategy for the management of PCOS. As more evidence emerges, it seems like the macronutrient distribution isn't the most important consideration when it comes to weight loss. Instead, calorie restriction is the key. Now, a number of studies show that calorie controlled, low carb diets result in a similar amount of weight loss as low fat diets over a period of one to two years. So it seems to really boil down to reducing calories and finding a diet that suits you in the long run. If you can stick to the diet and it suits you, you're much more likely to be successful. When it comes to PCOS, although weight loss may be important for some, we also want to lower insulin levels because high insulin levels or hyperinsulinemia as it's also known, can make PCOS symptoms worse. Now in this regard, a low carb diet will reduce average sugar levels and also insulin levels, but only in the short term for around three to six months. Now, when we assess these levels over the longer term, as with weight loss, we see that low carb and low fat diets actually produce similar results. So once again, one diet isn't necessarily better than the other. The only time that I'd recommend avoiding a keto diet for PCOS is when you're actively trying to conceive. Emerging research suggests that a keto diet shouldn't be consumed in the weeks leading up to conception as it may impact upon egg health. Now, no matter which diet you choose, your main focus should be on food quality. An unhealthy low carb or low fat diet will do nothing for your health in either the short or the long term. If you do decide to go the keto route, the majority of your calories will come from fats. As dietary fats are implicated in heart disease risk, it's really important that you make the right choices here. In general, you want to steer clear of all trans fats, which are usually found in highly processed foods such as biscuits, cakes, pastries, pies and takeaways, and replace saturated fats with unsaturated ones. Saturated fats are found in varying amounts in animal products such as fatty meat or the skin of chicken, whilst unsaturated fats include oily fish, olive oil, avos, nuts and seeds. So my conclusion is that yes, you can follow a low carb diet, such as the keto diet to lose weight and manage your PCOS symptoms, but only if it suits you as an individual and feels like a diet that you can maintain. And you need to remember that your food choices still matter. At the end of the day, individualized dietary guidance and support from a dietitian is more effective than trying on your own. To help you on your way, 
Why don't you check out our Picos recipe ebook with more than 25 recipes specifically designed to help you on your Picos journey. Just head over to melaniemcrice.com slash shop to get your copy today. I look forward to chatting to you again soon. We're going to discuss whether the peak of 5 to 10 percent. Uh, yeah, got it. Yeah, again. Still in levels. Because, oh, sorry, I can start again.